So in the last example of day five notes, it says solve an inequality with variables on both sides. So here, I want my x's together. So I'm going to add the 7.8x, okay? And if I add that together, we are going to get 13.1. Minus 2, greater than negative 9.3. Um, now, this is just a two-step equation. You know, if we didn't have the point 0.1 and the point 0.3, we would still solve it the same way. So we're going to add the 2. Okay, negative 9.3 plus 2 is negative 7.3. And then we divide by the number in front of x, which is 13.1. Now, we divide it by a positive, so we leave the inequality greater than. And when I divide this, I get negative 0.557, and it keeps going. But it says that we need to round to the nearest tenth. So this 5 is in the tenths place, and this 5 makes this 5 go up. So I have a negative 0.6. So that's my rounded answer. That's more of an accurate answer, but this is my rounded answer. Okay, last one for day five notes. Again, we're going to get our x's together. So I want to move this over to the other side by subtracting it. And if I subtract that, we get negative 10.0x. Now, we have a two-step, okay? So first step, add or subtract something, because these are like terms. So, and then when I rewrite this, I don't need the point zero. This is just negative 10. And then we are really subtracting these because this is a negative, this is a positive. So when I combine these together, I get negative 2.7. And I'm dividing excuse me, by negative 10. So a negative divided by negative is a positive. Um, if I divide this, I'm really just moving the decimal. So I get 0.27. And I need to flip the inequality around because I divided by a negative. But it says up there the direction is round to the nearest tenth. So this 2 is your tenth. The 7 makes the 2 go up. So I would have less than 0.3 rounded. Okay. So that is it for day 5 notes. Um, we are done and ready for the next item on the agenda.